Okay, uh, this video is for David131313. Um, this is just kind of because I have his back. I, I, I don't know if Jesus was black or not, but I, I would assume that the closest he might be is maybe like Ethiopian, perhaps, or, or maybe olive-skinned. But for the one of the racists, there's a certain uh, woman on there that's making comments that she has to unsub this individual, uh, David. Uh, she's a racist, so I really wouldn't worry about it. Um, to cling to a color, especially at this point in the game, is pretty weak. Uh, we've got a lot of shit going on, and uh, like he said, if you're sitting there waiting for a dude to fly out of the clouds, you're probably going to end up starving to death. Uh, much less have your food taken if you don't have any um, stuff to protect yourselves from average citizens gone mad after they can't eat and the you know collapse of the dollar. But uh, what I did wanted to point out is uh, this book right here. Okay, it's called the. Uh, Testament of history and uh, it's really bomb ass It shows you all the timelines and the timelines consist of uh, Politics literature and theater religion philosophy learning visual arts music science and technology and daily life um, For me what's important is you know, I, I am into comparative religion, but starting at 1000 um, BC to all the way to uh, 451 BC, you have a ton, all the religions that we pretty much are into and worshiping, they may be, have been refined, they may have been mingled, uh, they may have secretly been introduced into your newer religions, like say the Trinity or Triune, you know, I'll leave it at that if you don't know what the Triune is, you shouldn't even be looking at the Bible because you're still back in the day. But uh, Confucius, Buddhism, Zoroasterism, Lao Tzu's, the Jewish prophets, the Greek the poets, artists, philosophers, science, the 6th century BC reaches a zenith of human wisdom and achievement. Okay, and it's, you know, you've got uh, Thales, you've got all sorts of stuff. You've got Zoroasterism, the Brahmatic uh, religion, uh, you know, Jewish prophets. Uh, one of the big things I want to talk about is that they, they, they keep talking about this, this hate for the Sumerians or a dislike like Christ shouldn't talk to the Sumerians. But there's clearly a text in here where, they, where these, these Hebrews go and, and kidnap uh, Sumerians so that they can teach them the proper religion. I, one of the things I've stayed away from, which I'm going to break into a little bit here, is that, um, you know... We've got this beautiful picture painted, but the Old Testament is all about the kings that worship Molech, uh, Balaam, whatever you want to call it, but they've been burning children. Now, those people are all still here, allegedly, of course, allegedly. But um, the, all the religions have mixed, like the laws of, you know, Apollo is worshiped in Delphi. Delphi still has a priestess, you know, so, you know, a couple hundred years in here. But... The religion was all over the place with everybody, okay? There's no great definition of the Messiah, okay? If you break down the numbers, anybody that goes and look at Helen Blavatsky, regardless of what you believe her modus apparandus is, uh, she still takes all the religions, breaks them all down in the same numbers, and show you that they're all from a common source. And uh, I have listened to all the stuff from, from African philosophers, African historians. You know, I'm not racist. So what I like to do is look at everybody, and what I see is, is a mingling of stories, okay, period. So as long as we all try to put ourselves into the group of the chosen, and I've made many videos about this before, you know, I talked to most of you, before I even talked to anybody on here, most of my videos were about all of us being one race, a race of beings on earth, not even human, because that denotes color. But for you to, for you to all keep trying to be the race is is really sickening, and it just shows you what kind of a mountain we've got to climb to fix this planet. Uh, if God decides to come and His Christ decides to come, He's going to weed out all of you people anyway. Anybody that wants to be the chosen race, you're not going to be. The first will be last, right? So if you're in there trying to be the first, you're going to be the last. Okay, if you're if you're uh, of Hebrew descent, but you're half Irish, like a uh, silver red indigo, you need to wake up. Okay, you, you you are half 
Irish. Your, your chromosomes are half your father's. Don't, don't be ashamed of who you are. Be proud if you're black and white. You know, if you're of a mixed race, be glad because you're going back to, and also, are there not three skulls? There's only three different kinds of skulls. I had four scientific videos on my site. All those videos have been pulled, okay? And I cannot find other ones. When I put stuff out that tries to unite and break down the religious and cultural backgrounds that we have, that shit is pulled. We are all one people, okay? That's what we need to do, and if we all stopped, we'd realize that this stuff is all made to keep us from being together, keep us from being good people. So give me a second, I'm gonna turn this off. I've gotta look up some stuff on King David. And uh, if, you're, if you're black and you wanna be part of King David's line, I have a question for you. So here it goes, give me a second. Okay, I'm going to mention two quick little things before I get into this, but um, there's magic in Genesis, okay? One, there's a woman that uses the mandrake root, which we know is, is associated with the occult, to bear children from her uh, husband's cousin or nephew. Um, there's another part where, um, I'm not sure which what the guy's name is, I know he's very famous, I can't think of him offhand, but... Uh, to build his flock, he actually tricks this guy into giving him all the spotted sheep. So then he, he goes and takes these spotted sheep and he, he takes all the newborns and somebody puts these sticks down, six sticks down by the water. And then all of a sudden, all of his animals became spotted like he somehow magically did this. There's strange stuff in here, okay? Uh, the Six Finger Man is in here. Uh, I think he's First Chronicles. Uh, you know, I could be wrong. You know, I read too much and don't write down enough stuff. But the bottom line is, uh, you can see the stone reliefs of that gentleman uh, in Samaria. There are, there is the six-fingered man. But here we go. So the ungodly line of Cain. Okay, the ungodly line of Cain. And uh, one of the descendants is is Jubal from Enoch. Okay, Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bore Enoch. Now, if you also know, for some reason, there's two Enochs in here. There's a good Enoch and a bad Enoch. I'm not going to get into that. But it says in Enoch, where am I at here? Genesis 4, 21. And his brother's name was Jubal. And he was the father of all such that handle the harp and the organ. Okay? So who do we know that's very, very famous that handles the organ? Or not the organ, but the stringed instrument. In fact, none like him, none played like him because he could summon the Spirit of God. Okay, that was King David. So as we go down this line of Christ, is Christ then black? Is he also the line of Cain? So is, has God rewarded King David, a black man, with, with Jesus? Are they all from the line of Cain? I mean, let me read it again. And his brother's name was Jubal, and he was the father of all such that handled the harp and organ. Well, he didn't just handle the organ. When he, he would play for Saul, and God's presence would come and soothe Saul. So either it's figurative, it's not figurative. There's a lot of loopholes in the Bible. So for us to take it literally, um, you're going to end up in trouble. Because I, I'm telling you... When I started figuring out that there was something going on is that every strange thing that I found in the Bible, there was never a comment for. Well, you know, after the first three or four, you know, I thought that was me, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, tenth, fifteenth. Then I got to where I realized everything that I was looking at that was that was touching upon my mind was never comment on. So, so you know, be it MacArthur, whoever you want to come up with, whatever great biblical scholar you want to come up with, they don't comment on the strange stuff. So like Ezekiel, anybody that's read Morals and Dogma knows what Ezekiel's wheels are. You know, I'm not gonna tell you because if you don't go read, it's none of your business. But the bottom line is, if he's black or not, at this point in time, it doesn't matter. And if you have any part of anything inside you that says, I, you know, I'm glad he's, he's black, you're not making it anywhere. The first will be last. 
The one that says, you know what, I don't want to be part of the perfect race. I just want to be with God. I just want to help everybody. I just want to be strong and kind to one another. I want to show mercy to everybody. I don't care about any kind of bullshit. Any line that divides me from somebody else of being an equal is from the people that are controlling us. And any idiot should be able to see that. Um, you know, again, this is a really good book, but I won't get into it. But you can see... Let me see here. You can see all that. Okay. Now, the, the thing is, we all think that nobody was getting together, but believe me, these people were bumping into each other still. Especially if you go look into any kind of esoteric knowledge, you'll real, realize that most of summoning of spirits and stuff comes from, from the Arab countries. So the people in the 1920s, there was like a revival, uh, you know, from Levansky and different people, these people went in search of these people that knew how to summon spirits. There's a Arab gentleman that I listened to on here who did a video where he talked about, if you understand this Hebrew or the Aramaic, you know that Solomon did not build the temple by hand. So he used spirits. Now we know if the Bible is true and if it is telling us the truth, we know that we're not supposed to be summoning any kind of spirits because we're dominating them to do work. Even if they're evil, we shouldn't be dominating them. Just like right now, period. Okay, it's time to weed out the evil people that think they're better than you, that are liars, that are cheats, that are connivers. The wheats and the tar are the good and the bad. Okay, it doesn't matter color lines, it doesn't matter bloodlines. Okay, if you go get a little Arab child and you bring him over to America, and you raise him like an American, he's an American. If you take a kid from here and you send him over there, he's gonna be like them. What we need to do is transverse this water and become equals in a brotherhood, in a sisterhood of love. Okay, and that's gonna mean the end of war. So that kind of bumps into the whole Masonic thing and everybody's talking shit about the Masons, but I, I'm pretty much sure that's their goal. The problem is we, you know, we don't want them to decide to kill us because maybe we're better than we think that we are. You know, who's good enough to stay on this planet? Because I'll be honest, I'll give my life up. If, 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 if the people that are going to run this world are not pedophiles, okay, because that is a big thing to me, okay, I love children. If they're not pedophiles and they're not racist, okay, they're not racist, and they really will make a utopia, then I'll be the first one to put my neck out there. I have no problem doing so. Um, problem is, I'm not sure about that yet. But I can tell you that I see a lot of people trying to divide us, and I see a lot of people that are sheeple. Uh, when you, uh, <clears throat> I mean, I mean, let's face it, you guys. There's nothing. There's nothing. The Hebrews aren't black. They're 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 Hebrews. They're they're all dark dark olive skin, dark hair, dark eyes. Um, anybody that's looked at the DNA testing, uh, I looked at something that said the Chinese are ninety percent black. There's a lot of strange stuff going on. It's hard. Hard to know who proves it because even if you're going to take this stuff as literal science, you have to look at who did the investigation. That would be IBM. Anybody knows the roots of IBM should be Leary of IBM, uh, allegedly. So, David, good for you for putting out your point of view. Don't let anybody try to tell you who to be. And uh, if you're getting a lot of flack from people, it's because they're not reading. Uh, anybody who knows that the Hebrews went into the desert... They don't know when they came out. They don't know who they are. Ten to one, we're all them. How about that? We all are Hebrews. And if you think you're better or smarter, like, like Red Indigo has the ultimate belittling characteristics, which is narcissism, which is, you know, in some cases is, is a very scary quality to, to know that you are better than everybody else and to know that your race is better, but you're compassionate, mind you. You're very compassionate. Uh, is 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 close to insanity as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I have met intelligent people from every walk of life, every race, every culture, and uh, the best conversations I have are with people that just want to get along, and that's what we really need. And this is covenant of love, uh, asking everybody to join me in a covenant of love. It's time for us to break down these barriers, regardless of our religions, race, creeds, colors. The viewpoints, if we're atheists, whatever our belief systems are, whatever our philosophies are, unless they're evil, 
we need to get together and we need to come to some kind of agreement to better this world. And I'll say it again, we should all be trying to get off this planet. Our main goal should be putting our money to getting off the planet, not just mining it, but to help everybody survive. Uh, you look into the Mormons, you look into the Masonic Lodges, you look into these different groups and you'll see that they talk about everybody having a planet. Now, I could see that as a scientific principle where we actually do that for people and we colonize other planets. Uh, keep an open mind. I'll talk to you soon.